It's me, an average guy with a lot of experience in watching YouTube, and today I will tell you about a new platform that you can use to chat with your favorite AI characters without any filters. Before diving into the video, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I post daily AI content to help you stay up to date with the latest informations. So the new platform that I will be telling you guys about today is known as Perchance. Now Perchance is not a fully AI chatting platform. It is actually a text generator platform where people can make various text generators. Now don't worry, I am also as clueless as you are here. I don't even know what this site is all about. I think you can use this site to do multiple things here. It is used for making RPG and games, I think. I don't know. But the main part is that they have now released their AI chatting feature too. So we don't care about all this thing here. We are just going to see the AI chatting feature of this site. So the AI chatting feature that they currently have released is based on an AI text plugin that they have created. It uses some Llama-based AI model to generate the responses. I have tried it and it is pretty good, not gonna lie. But it is still in the initial stages, so they haven't worked on the UI right now. But you can still use it to chat with your favorite characters. It is completely free to use and also it doesn't have any filters too, which is just absolutely awesome. It also works super fast. Like it only takes a blink of an eye to generate the responses. Using it is a little bit hard, but don't worry because here is an easy step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can do that. Step 1. Come to this website right here. This is Perchance website. Now before chatting, let me tell you that you don't need to log in here to chat with the characters. If you don't log in, then they will show you some ads on the chatting interface. But if you do log in and register here, then they won't show you any ads. So in my opinion, you should create an account here. It is pretty simple. You just have to press this login button here, and then you have to use any email that you want to register here. Once registered, you will see this account option here. This means that you are now logged in. Now all you have to do here is press the AI chat button here and you will come to the chatting interface. Step two. Now this chatting interface is very simple right now. As you see written here, they said that they will work on it in the future. Now this may look hard, but it's actually a lot simpler. Now, first of all, since this site doesn't have characters, hence we need to find the character ourselves. To find the characters, we need to go to the Character Hub website. Character Hub contains a lot of character bots created by the community. All you have to do here is search for your favorite character here, and then simply click on it. Then you will come here to the preview interface. Now just scroll down a little, and press this tavern drop down here. Now you will see all the definitions of the character here. Now copy this name here, and then go back to the chatting interface, and paste it here in the bot's nickname text box. Then write your name here in this text box. After that, Go back to the character definitions and copy this whole description here and then go back to the chatting interface and paste it here in the character description text area. Then go back to the character definitions and copy the personality here. If the personality is not written here then don't worry. The personality was probably written in the description then. If the personality is written here, then just copy and paste it in the character description at the end. After doing that you need to come here to this text area and write the description of yourself. Write how you look, what you like, what is your personality and all. Now after doing that, you will see another text box here. Here you need to write the scenario or other stuffs that you want. You can go to the Character Hub website and scroll down, and you will find the scenario of the character here. If it is not written then, just leave it. If something is written here, then copy and paste it on the chatting interface in the scenario text box. Now after that we have the chat logs here. Whatever you chat with the character will appear here. Here we need to write the first message of the character. Just go above and copy the name of the character and then paste it here. Then write colon and then press space. Now go back to the Character Hub website and copy the first message from here and paste it here in the chatting interface. Now it should look like this. So basically now you are ready to chat with the characters. Now go to this text box below the chat logs. This is your writing box. Just write the message that you want and press enter. And boom, you are now chatting with the character. As you see, the responses are very fast here and they are super good too. I really liked it a lot, not gonna lie. If you wanna edit something, then you go directly to the chat logs and edit whatever you want. There is a delete button here too. It will delete the last message in the chat logs. After deleting the message, you will see an undo button too. So you can undo it if you want. There is also a regenerate button here. If you don't like the response, then you can press it, and it will give you a completely new response. After regeneration, 
you can go back to your previous response by pressing this back arrow button here, and then you can go to the latest response by pressing the forward arrow button here. There's also a like and dislike button too. If you like the responses, then you can press it. This will help in making the AI model more better. There is also this checkbox named Auto Improve in the message box too. What it does is that it makes your messages improved and long. You can click on it to use it. Now after this, we have three button here. If you press the character button, then the character will respond again. Pressing the narrator button will generate a narration for the current chat. You don't need to use them at all. There's also this plus button here. You can use it to add more characters. You just have to write the name of the character and then press the OK button here. Then the character will be added. You can add more characters in the scenario box too. Now there is also this text box here too. This is optional to write. Basically, if you have a message for the AI, then you can write it here. You can tell the AI about what writing style you like, or you can tell it about what should happen as the chat progresses. Keep it simple as possible. Next, you will find the save and load button here. If you want to save your chats, then you have to press here. Then it will ask for a file name. After writing the name, just press the OK button, and then it will download a file on your mobile or computer. That file will contain all your messages. You can then load the chat by pressing the load button here. It will ask you to select the file that you want to load. So just select the downloaded chat file that you got after pressing the save button and then it will load up all your conversations for you. There is also a share button to share your conversations. Now suppose if you want to chat with a different character now. So what you have to do is that you need to go to the top and start pressing this delete button here in each text box. Then the interface will get cleaned. After this, you can add a different character using the process that I told you, or you can load your previous character if you have the save file for it. There is also a generate button at the top too, so suppose if you don't know about which character you want to chat with, then you can generate a random conversation here. Just press this generate button here, and then it will ask you to provide some ideas of what characters and scenario you want. After writing it, just press the OK button and now it will create two random characters, random descriptions, and random scenario too. Then you can start chatting here. You can select which character you want to chat as here too. So this was literally everything about this chatting interface. It really looks simple, but it has everything that you can ask for. It is absolutely insane. Personally, I like the responses of the AI very much. They were long and I didn't find any repetitions at all. The story progressed well for me. The responses were also fast. Overall, I think it is a pretty good site right now to chat with characters without any filters. You should definitely give it a try. Maybe you will like it too. Bye. If you learned something useful from this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more informational videos to help you all out. Goodbye.